sorry about that little interruption. I seem to have swallowed a chewing bug or something like that. When I see a big outdoor crowd like this, it reminds me of a time, Dad, don't go one time with you. Dad, don't tell that story again. Well, anyway, there was a time back then, in 1969, I played at this place that's come down through the years as being, uh, how can I say it, a lot better than it really was, I suppose. A place called Woodstock. And maybe it was better for some folks, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, how it all came about was I was with my band, we were seeing these billboards on the East Coast, but, you know, that little bird sitting on the guitar, and it said, come to Woodstock, three days of peace, love, and music. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, just, you know, months went by, and finally they called me up, said, hey, would you bring Credence up there and, and play a set for us? I said, all right, you gotta give me a good spot. Give me a, you know, a favorable spot on the bill. They said, how about Saturday night? About nine o'clock. I said, oh, that sounds great. What they didn't tell me is, you're gonna follow the Grateful Dead. <laughs> so anyway, the, the day arrived, we made our way into Woodstock, or at least that place where the concert was, out in the middle of a cow pasture. Actually, we got there by helicopter. There was half a million people there. And so we uh, got something to eat. It was the afternoon. Started counting down the hours to when it would be our turn. Somewhere around six o'clock, I noticed there's, there's like five more bands got to play before the Grateful Dead, and we're supposed to go on at nine? Anyhow, that didn't happen. The Grateful Dead finally went on at midnight. <laughs> so they started to play. You know that lovely jingly jangly thing that they do, and uh, suddenly it all went quiet. <sighs> hey, Jerry! Yeah, man. Where's my guitar? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, anyway, after an hour of <clears throat> uh, peering through the fog, let's say. Somebody figured out how to plug something in again, and the Grateful Dead started playing again. They've already been on stage for two hours, and now they're playing again. <laughs> and they played another 45 minutes, and I really, I couldn't wait to get out there. Right. So the Grateful Dead says, you know, far out, head smoker reaper, and so long. And I come running out on the stage ready to bust a move. Oh, I look right down there in the front, and I see a bunch of people who looks just like me. Except, they're naked. <laughs> and they're asleep. <coughs> the Grateful Dead had put half a million people to sleep. So I'm trying to kick butt and get out there and make a lot of noise, keep on chewing and born on the bayou and all that, you know, <coughs> screaming and hollering. Finally, I go up to the mic because I'm a little frustrated. I said something like, well, hope enjoying this we're up here playing our hearts out we want to rock out for you way back there in the darkness some guy flicks his lighter and says don't worry about it John we're with you <laughs> so I played the whole rest of my concert at Woodstock for that guy <laughs> then I went home and I wrote this song <laughs> 